Hello, and welcome to my continued exploration into the hard career mode in Kerbal Space Program 1.0. The first four episodes of this series were all from the live stream on the day of the release, April 27th, and this episode begins my stream on day two. I'm cutting out all the slow parts for YouTube, so the length of the YouTube videos is roughly half of the original stream length. I am retaining as much of the original live commentary as possible, but will occasionally pipe in with post commentary if something needs clarification. Since it was a live stream, the video bitrate is about a fifth of what I usually produce for YouTube videos, so apologies for that. Please do stop by on Twitch to participate with the streams. I mean, the whole point of the live stream is participation, so I would like uh, as much of an audience as possible. Now, on to my live commentary on April 28th. Now, I thought about it, and it's possible that we could do these VIP ferry contracts um, at least a suborbital one. Or oh, I, I guess they're all orbital now. It's just not worth enough. I don't think we can launch a mission to orbit with just this amount of cash. And anyway, orbiting the moon sounds particularly tempting. Ooh, science data from space around Kerbin sounds especially... Well, we've got a lot of contracts that could be very helpful right now. So... Science data from space around Kerbin. I don't think we can get anything new though. But will the old trick of doing just anything work out, even if it turns up to be zero science? Or maybe we should just let let's pick up science data from space around the moon. I know we can do that. We just we had launched one in the previous uh, my previous stream, so we can do that. Science data from the surface of the moon, not so much just yet. Form visual surveys of the moon. <laughs> no, not not quite there yet either. Okay, so I think I will. Let's just aim for science around the moon because that is close to what we did before. But before we do that, we need to unlock the the terrier. I guess we call it now uh, because that was integral to our design for the moon rocket. So I'm going to research that, and I'm going to research that part in particular. And I might as well. The unit cost for those tanks is probably yeah. It, there's a benefit. There's a cost benefit to having these tanks. So I unlock that. Now my goal right now is really to uh, unlock the next stage of the VAB. But that's that's a long time. I mean, 450,000 funds to rate we're going is gonna be tough. But that allow me to use more than 30 parts, which is gonna be critical. So that is my plan. Uh, another thing we could do is maybe upgrade the number of contracts we can pick up, but that's still a ways away. So the crew we had sent out was Sidri. Sidri managed to make it back just fine. So I'm gonna go with Valentina this time. Or oh, well, Gusper is actually the one who's least experienced. I guess I guess I'm gonna continue with the whole stick with the guys who are least experienced and send them out as a priority. Now, we need that we, we really really want to do some science that we haven't done before. And I think for that the thermometer would be great. Maybe we should get the around Kerbin contract. There's bound to be something with thermometers that we haven't done. That sticks out like crazy. I know the batteries overheat. The batteries overheat like a lot. So maybe we should tuck those in a bit. Or will that conduct the heat and cause a pod to explode? Ah. Uh, we should have them higher at least then. Right, okay, we don't have action groups, so I can't action group it. Alright. Temperature scans. Flying high, near, flying over Kerbin shores. Yeah, we've got the temperature scans around Kerbin. We could try it out, though. Let me pick up the contract and see if we can still do that trick where even though we have zero science, it still works. Okay. Okay, anyway, uh, throttle up SAS on, Guzper's ready, and uh, we'll probably be throttling down pretty soon, but let's go full throttle initially. Okay, here we go, we're gonna try for the moon again. Hold on to your hats.
Okay, pretty smooth. Oh boy, I'm going a little bit too high though. Okay, hold on. We're probably pretty high right now. Let's see. Uh, no, not that, not that bad actually. Let's maneuver a little bit flatter. So again, for those just just joining, we are trying to do a flyby of the moon in order to get a little bit more science to fulfill a contract. We've also got a contract for stuff around Kerbin, so that's a thing. And I'm really dicey on the funds right now. I've only got 101,000 left. So I've got to watch myself. I hope I haven't uh, used too much of the fuel on this. We do have margins here. It's not like I can use as much as I'd like. But I think we had pretty good margins based on the last time we tried this. Wonder if we could get into orbit around the moon. I should calculate that. Once we're done, I'll see how much we have left and see if it's possible. Up, 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 up. There's the moon. Okay, so here we go again. Okay, so here we go. Obviously, we don't have maneuver nodes unlocked, so it's not like I can check whether I have a free return trajectory or anything, uh, or even an encounter. I'm just hoping that I've got this right. Touching the orbit of the moon. If I do have it right, I will have a crash course at the moon. If not, I'll probably be a little bit off. Uh, looks like a little bit more. Okay. So, off we go again. We've got a lot of electric charge. So let's test the idea that maybe sending no science will still work. Um, let's let's try the thermometer. Seems more legit. Let's let's try and transmit this and see if that fulfills the contract or whether they fix that. Yeah, it still fulfills the contract. <laughs> you know, I could have sworn they might have fixed that, but yeah, uh, sending zero science still fulfills the contract. Okay, and we can still use the thermometer, so that's fine. Okay, well. I was honestly just trying that out, didn't know for sure if it would work or not, but yeah, I'll try not to do that in the future. Unless I'm in absolute desperation, which could happen. I mean, with, with the kind of funds I have right now, I might be in absolute desperate straits. Okay, we're on the crash course again. Okay, so... Which way will get us a proper trajectory here? Uh, it's not something I want to keep separate from my streaming. Uh, I don't mention it very much uh, in my videos, I think. Maybe I've mentioned I'm a sci-fi writer like three, four times in my 500 or so YouTube videos. But um, I'm just not very good at it. So it's like I, I'm still young. I, I can get better. But uh, I think in some video I linked, uh, linked my sci-fi stuff. Uh, at least my novel. Uh, my novel's called Stowaway. And of course, I wrote it under my real name. Tyler Rays is not my real name, guys. Uh, Tyler Rays is the name of one of my characters. On the internet, I generally go by the names of my characters. Uh, it's just... Uh, they're names that I have complete control over, and uh, my real name is actually rather common. Okay, temperature scan. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite impossible as there is no matter around to be... Yeah, we've read this before. Yeah, so um, I, I'm glad they did this because I've made the point before that you, you can take a measurement of something that's zero. I mean, zero, zero is an important number. I think... Should we transmit this or recover this? I think I might as well just recover it, right? could probably do a few more. Was That was high over. I, I wonder if the ones close to it is biome dependent, but let me just keep that. And did we do a crew report? I did, we did a crew report low over. Let's transmit this one. 
So we still can't do EVAs with the Kerbinauts, so there's no point me doing anything here. We've already done a crew report nearby, and I'm saving the temperature scan for later. We're gonna keep the temperature scan we've got. Yeah, that's something I forgot to mention. I tried out space planes in Sandbox. I couldn't resist. So uh, actually getting to orbit is really, really easy. You know what's hard? Landing. Landing is really, really hard. <laughs> getting the getting the thing down without... Uh, well, getting the thing down even with the air brakes is tough. Uh, it, they just don't want to stay down. Especially the smaller planes. So I've been trying that out because I, I figure it's going to be a while before I can do planes in this career mode. I just couldn't resist. So I've got a little space plane, and I want to do a sandbox series for 1.0 as well. So I'm going to show off that plane on the sandbox series. The one thing though, they've got the those wings with fuel in. Uh, avoid uh, is my recommendation, especially the wing straight that has fuel in. That thing blows up. Mod bug, bug fix fixes, uh, yeah, the, the standard bu uh, stock bug fix should be out there. Maybe that'll fix that those wings so that they don't blow up every time on re-entry. Because I initially made the I made a little plane to uh, be a space plane. And then I came down for re-entry and we weren't even getting hot and it blew up. So we did 30 kilometers last time. I think that was a good aero break. We'll do that again this time. Maybe we can go to 28, actually. We, we were a little bit loose last time. We fulfilled both our contracts, so that's good. Okay, if I remember correctly, we were able to keep the all of this intact through the aero break. But I am going a little bit lower in the atmosphere this time. So we'll see if it's still alright. That's why you play sandbox so you don't lose kerbals from crashing rain tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a lot less pain and suffering there. But, you know, when people watch you, they do want to see you facing a serious challenge, too. So, my point of view is I, I have to challenge myself if I want to. If I want to make things interesting, which I do. And I also want to learn. Yeah, Jeb. It's always Jeb. I wonder if Jeb is really the only Kerbal I've ever... I've lost Jeb repeatedly. I lost Jeb in the Colonization series. I lost Jeb here. I wonder if Jeb is actually the Kerbal... The only Kerbal I've actually lost. I don't remember. I think I've lost other Kerbals before. Uh, in videos, I mean. Uh, yeah. I don't remember if I've lost others. It would have been in my very earliest series. Ooh, it is intense, but we're now going up. Rover Dude came out with a nice life support mod, yes. Oh, 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 bad, bad. Uh, we'll find out what that was in a sec, because it's not the parachute and it's not the capsule. Uh, I think it's just because I'm tilted a bit. I think it was probably the battery. Yep, uh, I'm looking at my electric charge there, and it's it's the battery. I knew the batteries would do it. You lost Jeb from putting Bill in EVA, and the ship despawned with Jeb in it. That's weird. Uh, I guess... I guess that was uh, suborbital or something. Need to do your favorite test. Uncurbled, of course. Launch high, cancel all horizontal velocity. Well, almost all. Uh, and then accelerate straight toward Kerbin center of mass. See how fast you can re-enter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Uncurbled, of course. But as, as long as we've got that straight. Um, yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, Rover Dude's great. And I like that. I like that he's talking on, uh, on Twitch about all the stuff. That's very helpful. Uh, a lot of modders don't, uh, you know, aren't quite so conversant, so I like to hear from them if possible. 
So the question is whether I try and get our little Kerbal here back closer to KSC or did I just take this? Because if I just take this, I think we can get him back just fine. I obviously didn't need to retro burn anymore, I don't think. I'm just coasting up to Apoapsis and I'll make an adjustment there. That was a pretty good arrow break. Uh, we lost a battery, right? That's that's what we lost, a uh, rechargeable battery pack. That was really because I was tilted a little bit with respect to uh, retrograde. So, not too bad. Okay, that's close enough. And we will see how far that brings our periapsis down. Now, one other thing I want to... Oh, can we transfer resources? I don't think so. Let's see. Um, let me just see if I can transfer... No, I can't. Okay. Because I was wondering if I could transfer the electric charge from the battery to the capsule, but I can't. Is this your first entry into uh, streaming? Yes. Uh, I, mean, I I streamed yesterday. And then I streamed some shuttle re-entry testing that you saw. Uh, uh, that you can see in the saved videos. Well, they're not really saved. They're, they'll be there for a few days. But other than that, it's, it's been about a week or so. That I've uh, started up on Twitch. So yeah. Still a newbie. Really glad I'm getting any viewers at all, of course. I mean, of course, right now everybody is uh, streaming KSP because 1.0 is out. It's not exactly... <laughs> uh, I've picked a time when there's a lot of competition, if you will. But, uh, yeah, I don't mind. It's... I need the practice anyway. You were watching one of my videos and you got the Twitch notification. That's interesting. I, I, I don't know how much of this stuff works. Uh, I did connect the Twitch account to my YouTube account so that uh, in uh, just in case I could export the videos to YouTube. I'm actually just recording them myself and then editing them because exporting to YouTube it's just too long. The videos have a lot of stuff that I'd normally cut out of my videos, so I don't want to add those in, those parts in. But uh, yeah, so the accounts are connected. Okay, we're starting to go up again. Yeah, yeah, I know about the debug menu, but uh, I don't, I don't want to. I, I want to experiment. I guess you could say. Uh, yeah, I I saw that in some of the other streams. Uh, uh, during the weekend and I know about the aerodynamic arrows as well so those are things I will be using but not for career mode because uh, I guess I want more of a challenge sort of so this is going to be extremely challenging because I don't know the exact the exact heat results here but it looks like because I have experience with far and deadly reentry already right I've played with mods I've had uh, realistic aerodynamics and re-entry heating for some time now. Well, this is close, but I think it's too low for me. No, it might be alright. I think I can boost my orbit up and then bring myself down. No, it's, it's going down a little bit more than I want. Okay, come on, little capsule. Uh, let's let's try and get close to the KSC. Seems like flame effects are gone. Let me flip around. I'm gonna boost myself up so that we can try and hit the KSC. This is not something you should generally try and do. Okay, just coasting along, Gusper Kerman. We've been losing a lot of funds because we've been landing so far away from the KSC. A lot of times we only got 10% or between 10 and 20% of our funds back. And that's just not acceptable. We've got to try harder here. It looks like we have enough Delta V to try and get to orbit around the moon. I think we can make lunar orbit. Okay, well that's that average is out to 80 kilometers. We've got an inclination though, so we won't hit the KSC exactly. Could have corrected that, but I don't want to waste time now. 
You like how the tech tree now shows a player the branches of tech and what's in them. Yes. Yes, I like that a lot. Because, you know, the whole point of having a tech tree like that is to strategize. I mean, this from, you know, like uh, civilization games, right? Do you sort of you you really want to know what's coming up in order to have some sort of strategy about how to play the game and if it's just hidden from you then there's there's really no strategy involved in that so we're we're slowly progressing our way towards doing things a little bit more reusably I need to try that out in order to do those VIP missions that we get we need to do those with something reusable I don't like the idea of spending all that money launching a rocket and then with the contract being so low having so little return on it okay so once I'm opposite of that peninsula I'm gonna retro burn I'm going to retro burn um, to 35 kilometers periapsis which would have been what I did with the old aerodynamics. So we'll compare the old aerodynamics to the new aerodynamics. Old aerodynamics say that if I retro burn to 35 kilometers here I should be pretty close to the KSC. I hope we do not hit any mountains. Probably the thinner atmosphere means that we should we should overshoot. Uh, we're a little bit off. Mechjeb has smart RCS. You wonder what that does. Mechjeb, Mechjeb has had a lot of problems with RCS in my experience. Mechjeb uses RCS like it's, you know, some very cheap liquid. <laughs> uh, so I, I never trust Mechjeb with RCS if I can help it. But hopefully that's what the smart RCS is. Uh, it's an improvement on the way Mechjeb uses RCS. I really can't avoid MechJeb because some of the videos I make are cinematics and I can't access the GUI. I can't access this or for some other reason I can't control the craft while recording sometimes when I'm making videos. So I do have to use MechJeb sometimes in order to help me out there. But it's general, it generally makes the maneuvers worse than I, nor I would so I prefer to have my own control. I should ditch, I'm gonna ditch the service module now. Yeah. Okay, that's not a good thing. Sometimes it starts doing that. Some, I mean, it's just normal, and then suddenly it starts jittering like crazy. Okay, so we're we're okay on the lineup with the KSC. Uh, we're gonna end up in the water somewhere in the pond here. So we're way past, which gives you an idea. That altitude would have worked for stock previously. And so this is the difference. We've got a much thinner atmosphere now. Okay, uh, very calm on the G-forces here. Doesn't look like we're going to be putting Guzbur through any sort of pains. Mechjeb isn't as bad with the new arrow in stock. That's interesting to know. I was worried about that. For FAR, I believe Mechjeb actually has a FAR plugin that modifies it for FAR. So uh, if you've been having trouble with that, you might want to take a look at that. I don't know if you've got it already or not. Okay, a little bit more than 3Gs here. Okay, parachute. Oh, that's the serious G-forces when you, when you release the parachute. So I think the next thing we need to do is try and orbit the moon. I think we've got the the fuel for it. You haven't used FAR or daily reentry since point two three. They didn't seem fleshed out. Well, they're pretty fleshed out now. Well, okay. Uh, FAR has FAR is uh, FAR is good. Daily reentry is complicated because daily reentry now comes with two different heating models. At least in point nine zero, it did. It had the one from before and then a sort of new and improved one that was more difficult. And so I can't really say that it's straightened out yet when it's got two different models that you have to pick from. So, and it had, uh, it had three different difficulties. Um, 
I had inconsistent uh, effects from those different difficulties. But far I love. Far is painful. I mean, it's tough. But I trust it. I trust that it is doing what it's supposed to be doing. In other words, uh, if I build the craft wrong, it's going to tell me in the most violent way possible. But if, you're, if you've been waiting for it to be incorporated into the stock game, that's fine too. Clearly, uh, we're sort of kind of there. Okay, recover vessel. So that was a long mission with Guzber. I'm sure he got plenty of experience with it. We gotta send Val out again now. And so Val will be the first to orbit the moon. Hopefully. Last time I said that Val will be the first to do something, we haven't managed to do it. Uh, but 10.8 science earned. Uh, we return 85.8% uh, of the capsule and Gusper got his reputation. Okay, let's get the orbit the moon contract. The dead, old oh, deadly worked fine, then they complicated it. Yeah. Sounds... Sounds like what's been going on, but I mean, you know, I'm sure there were problems with it that I didn't know about, because I don't know anything about re-entry aerodynamics. So I'm sure they've been trying their best to fix it up so that it really models aerodynamics properly, and I just don't understand it at all. Okay, so, yep, yeah, let's uh, send Valentina to orbit around the moon. Uh, same rocket. Uh, possibly we should use goo containers. Well, no, she'll be near to the moon. We'll, the, the thermometer will be fine. We'll do the goo containers on a different thing.